Hi folks, this is Tom, your Frugal Prepper. This is just kind of a quick little update. Now, on my emergency television video, I showed you how I powered my TV off of, in the converter box, off of 12 volts. Now, the converter box actually takes 5 volts. So how do we convert that 12 volts down to 5 volts efficiently and not use that AC adapter on a power inverter? Now, I put a link to uh, one of my videos where I built one of these. Um, voltage down converters or regulators. Um, basically this just has a 7805 IC couple capacitors in it and you put 12 volts in and you get 5 volts out. It's great for powering stuff that takes you know an amp to maybe just a shy of an amp and a half. Um, you know at a half an amp you may not even need to heat sink this um, but as you start to draw more and more power that little IC gets hot so I just rigged up a couple of heat sinks to that IC to help keep it cool now if I'm really drawing the juice from it running something uh, when I'm getting up close to that amp and a half range then I keep this handy um, this is just a uh, this is the box for it. it's a some weird brand mass cool uh, computer fan uh, cut the end off of it and you have a positive and a negative which you can hook up to your 12 volt battery and then that will create some airflow without using too much energy and you can just take and sit this behind the heat sink like so and let it run and then of course I've wrapped this all up in electrical tape just so that nothing can short out on it if I have it sitting on the desk with a bunch of stuff but that's how you can run 5 volt appliance um, that normally would take an AC adapter as long as that AC adapter is like an amp and a half or less um, most of that stuff is overrated it might say it takes one and a half amps it probably takes half that much if that's what it's rated for um, and then you know I have these this little guy just wire nutted onto the 5 volt side but I can of course unhook those wire nuts and put some alligator clips or something to it if I need to power something else um, a lot of things such as the camera that I'm recording this on it was rated for four and a half volts it uses three AAA batteries well I have run my camera off of this just put some alligator clips on the battery terminals and uh, hook it in there and I can run it on five volts just fine in fact the other thing that I have also ran on this is this fan okay this is my battery powered fan it normally takes two D batteries um, however um, you know if you put 5 volts to it 3 volts to 5 volts isn't that much difference in fact it makes it like turbo powered really puts out some air I've run it that way for an extended period and it hasn't hurt it this is just a little cheap O2 cool fan that I got at a Walmart on clearance last winter um, the best time to buy fans is like early fall early winter a late fall early winter um, at Walmart and stuff because they all go on clearance so they can make room for the heating stuff um, but you know you could also hook that up to here and use that to cool the heat sink as well although this is more for me and this one is for keeping the electronics cool um, but I just thought I'd show you that that's how I do that and that's kinda how I've updated that circuit since that video is by putting these heat sinks on here and one of these days, if I'm at the electronics store and I find a really nice, uh, thicker aluminum, nice heat sink, I may replace this with one big one. And then I probably won't even need the fan. This is Tom, the Frugal Prepper. If you like this video, please uh, rate, like, and subscribe.